in this video I'm going to guy <laughs> in this video I'm going to give you guys a run through our full off grid electric setup that we have in the fan. But first, let's install this 2,500 watts sine inverter real quick. With that out of the way, let's talk about our setup. Before we start, I want you guys to know that I am not an electrician. I'm just a guy who watched a bunch of YouTube videos about how to convert a van. So if you want to do your own electrics, please do your own research. That said, this is where it all starts. Right on the roof. We get all of our energy from this guy. This is our 340 watt daylight solar panel. When it's a sunny day, this panel will charge up our whole system in a few hours. We did a full video on how we did the solar panel, I'll link it below. From the panel we have cables running all the way through here. These go through the roof, fuck. We have cables running all the way through here. These go through the roof, come out here, run all the way through and come out into the brain of the electric system. So our solar cables run through here all the way into our MPPT charge controller. This converts the solar energy into nice 12 volt energy that recharges the battery. These are the entry cables from the solar panel. These are the battery cables connected to the battery. From the MPPT charge controller we have a cable running all the way to our monitor so we can check out our battery levels and our voltages. Battery is fully charged right now, so we're good. This is a 260 amp AN AGM AMG. Um, I have to look it up really quick. I think it's AGM. Okay, it's a AGM battery. I strapped it to the bottom of our van so it's not going anywhere. For now, I have only one battery. I have some space left over there to put another in case we need to. All the red cables connected to the battery have their own main fuse. So for the MPPT charge controller, for the 12 volt system, and the inverter will have one really soon. I have installed the skill switch because if I want to work on the, all the electrics and the 12 volt system I can simply cut off the power and work on it safely. With the switch turned on we go to our fuse box. This is our main fuse box where all our small appliances are connected to. We have our 12 volt fridge fuse right there. For all of the small appliances like light and the ventilator, we use this cable. It's one and a half millimeters thick isolated cable. For bigger appliances, we use this twin flex cable, four millimeters. And for some appliances, we also use six millimeters. We have a separate cable running for our fridge, which is quite empty right now. There's another cable running all the way through there, underneath the shower, coming out here, which goes to our heater. This is a diesel heater, and there's also a little uh, diesel pump underneath. All the appliances from the 12 volt system come back here on the blacks which run straight to the battery. For some appliances like a laptop charger, a mixer, we need 230 volts coming out from there. That's what this guy does. This is our 2500 watts pure sign inverter. We get our energy from the same battery, 12 volts, and the inverter turns it into 230 volts, which comes out here so we can plug in uh, just regular appliances. 
the inverter is also a charger just if we want to we can plug this in to wall power and it will charge the whole system that's about it it's a really basic setup but it's kind of all we need so we're happy with it um, everything works totally fine we'll have to see how the setup does when we're really on the road think i might upgrade to an extra battery but um, for now this will be just fine hope you enjoy the video and see you next time